Hello everybody and welcome to Q&A number four. In this series of videos, I answer your questions on language learning. So if you have any questions, you can write it down below and I'm gonna answer it in the further episodes. So the first question asked by Eldar Essenbeck. Привет, Артём. Можешь рассказать о своём графике дня и о рационе? Просто слышал, что пища влияет на активность мозга во время изучения языков. Hello, Artem. Can you tell about your daily routine and about your diet? I just heard that food influences your brain activity when you learn a foreign language. Um, so, I... It's very hard to respond to your question because I'm not an expert in nutrition. I can only tell tell you about my experience and it is not necessarily about brain activity kind of thing, but it, it's about energy. It's more about energy because I think, you know, to do anything, if you have time, if you have, uh, yeah, basically, it doesn't really matter uh, if you don't have energy. So energy is very important. Um there was this time when I was in Thailand in uh, back in to December 2017, now very long ago, and I had this problem. I had a lesson, and during this lesson I was so tired, and I couldn't understand what was happening because I just woke up, and I ate. I had a lesson. I had an, I was getting enough sleep. Uh, what the hell was going on? Um, so I was, I started my research on YouTube and I found that, well, a lot of people, uh, was talking about, uh, that, uh, you, well, the nutrition that you have to, uh, decrease the amount of, uh, sugar you eat, especially white sugar. And this is the first thing I did. I eliminated white sugar at all and I replaced it with, uh, fruit. So, yeah, uh, well, it was very, very good decision because, well, it is healthier. It is natural that it's healthier and it's more uh, natural, uh, you know, food. So the next thing I did was I just started to eat less, just in general, to eat less because um Normally, we eat not because we, we need a lot of food, but just because it is tasteful. It, it is delicious, you know. So, yeah, I... And also, the problem with that is that whenever you eat a lot, you uh, end up... Uh, you just sleepy. You feel sleepy after right after you've uh, eaten. Um, and it, that was the case, definitely was the case for me. So, um, yeah, that was the second thing I did. And the third thing I did, it was the, the most important thing I did to uh, increase my energy level. Uh, and that was uh, going to bed earlier because I am a uh, not, night owl, but I'm not uh, right now. I don't think so. But uh, I was uh, my usual uh, like sleep regimen was like I go to bed at two, three or even four uh, a.m. And I wake up at 12, uh, one hour, etc. And you got this feeling that you have lost. You wake up and you've lost uh, half of the day and you you feel tired, uh, right? It just you, you woke up and you feel tired. What, what the hell? Um, so apart from going to bed early, uh, so what, what was causing that? And that is I... So I uh, let's start from the beginning. I was tired. Uh, I just woke up. I am tired. I eat. I uh, try to do something. I ha don't have energy. I lay down. I uh, go out or do something, but I don't perform. I don't uh, do something active, which requires a lot of energy. And when it gets to the point when it's uh, 10 p.m. and I have to do something, I uh, well, it's already uh, late. So. I realized that I spend the whole day doing nothing and I have to do something at least to not waste my day. So I start doing, uh, I start learning and that, that's where my uh, highest performance begins. Uh, and it lasts until 2, 3, 4 uh, a.m. 
and it's a vicious circle so it, it repeats over and over again and you can't cannot um uh, like you want to wake up wake up earlier but due to the fact that you go to 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 the bed late you miss your you snooze your uh, alarm clock and it's you know it's not the best way to wake up to start the day so um going to bed earlier uh has helped me to um to basically wake up earlier and to be more productive because uh when i wake up earlier i feel that i well i have the whole day in front of me and i'm not destroyed by the social media because i don't check my uh social media w- immediately after waking up i um yeah i don't i'm not distracted by my family because they sleep so uh it, it was very beneficial so uh yeah that was december and in january i applied all of those things and i felt uh much better i was much produ- more productive i had more lessons i was uh i yeah, funny thing is that I was uh, willing to run. I was running to, uh, you know, just for to release my energy. And yeah, so these are the three components that help me a lot to increase my energy. And it's absolutely crucial when it comes to l- l- language learning or any kind of mental activity. If you want to perform at the best, you got to fix your diet. You got to f- eat um, more natural food. Uh, healthier basically if you don't know how to eat what diet to uh, apply just opt for natural products like vegetables fruit uh, I don't know uh, rice or stuff like that I just don't know all the names of the food uh, in English but uh, you get my point not junk food not processed food not a lot of meat because I'm not against eating meat but uh, meat is also uh, takes a lot of energy to uh, digest, so uh, I decreased also the amount of eat I meat I eat. So uh, yeah, and I fixed my, I fixed my, um, uh, I fixed my sleep. Uh, so yeah, and also I eliminated the coffee. Coffee is uh, you know it gets your energy uh, up, then it decreases uh, dramatic dramatically. So uh, dramatically. So yeah, this is my answer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, right now, I'm not doing it because I uh, got back from uh, the trip and I still cannot, um, you know, still cannot uh, go to bed earlier because I'm used to uh, the other uh, time zone. But uh, yeah, it's an excuse. So I got I to gotta do it as well. So if you, uh, uh, if you haven't tried those things uh, you you might uh well if you if you have if you have uh, problems with energy probably these are the the most uh, important things that are causing your lack of energy so yeah this is my answer keep it up artem it's a great idea spread your knowledge and motivate others and my question would be how do you always stay motivated uh thank you for the comment sonia but um i have to disappoint you i am not always motivated so uh, motivation i think that motivation is something that comes and goes and you, it's up to you to create your motivation because uh, my biggest motivation was when i uh, started learning italian and i started learning this language because i went to italy i went to italy i was uh, impressed by this beautiful country so I decided to learn a language and I was so passionate about this language because of the country and it was me basically who went to this country who created this motivation because if you think about it it's not that even though if you have motivation it's not that it comes to you like from heaven or something like that it's you who creates this motivation you can find people who you uh, like you can and talk to them you can find uh, YouTube channels that you like. You can uh, listen to the podcast that you like, but it's up to you. And I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not saying that any like you, to, particularly to you, but in general, it's up to everyone uh, to find their motivation. 
And I have lacks of motivation. I have problems with motivation. So whenever I have it, what I do is that I usually try to do something that I like. Probably it can be listening to the music. It can be listening to uh, watching a video. Uh, even though if I don't understand anything in that language, I enjoy uh, watching people speak that language and it motivates me. I can talk to a native speaker. This is also very motivating. Yeah, basically, yeah, and the best way uh, to motivate yourself is to go is go into the country. So I, it's not that I am always motivated. It is that I'm always trying to find the ways to fulfill this, uh, you know, um, this cup of mo of motivation to fulfill this. Um, I don't know how to sasut, uh, in which you add uh, your uh, liquid. Of motivation I don't know if that's uh, the best way to describe it but there's a hole in it you know there's a hole so uh, it it always um, decreases over time so what you have to do is always uh, put in the new sources of um, motivation um, yeah so this is basically how I deal with motivation of course uh, it, it is always, uh, well, I personally learn languages uh, to go to uh, the countries. So if I don't like the country uh, to travel, you know, to if I don't like the country, I probably have would have problems with uh, learning this language. And uh, this is what ha what is happening with uh, my German right now. I'm not very passionate about Germany. And yeah, this is bad. But it, I have another kind of motivation for my German is that it's a challenge. Uh I, I'm testing myself on whether or not I'm possible to do it. Uh, so I'm able to do it. Uh, so yeah, this is the other way of motivating myself. So it, it's or, or it's uh, either it's um, something pleasurable, uh, something that you like, like music, uh, people you talk to, videos, podcasts, any kind of material. Uh, country, go into the country, experience, or it's a uh, personal challenge. So, challenge and both um, uh, the need of the language. Like you have, you have to uh, go uh, to the country, and uh, you have to learn the language, or you have to study there or work there. Yeah. So uh, this is my rant about motivation. Артём, отличное видео. Скажи, а сколько, на твой взгляд, необходимо времени, чтобы перешагнуть порог fluency? Сколько в среднем у тебя уходило на каждый из языков до момента, когда ясно создаёшь? Я могу общаться свободно на этом языке. So the question is basically, uh, how long does it take uh, you to get fluent, to reach fluency? Um, so it depends. It depends on the language and it depends on uh, your native language so i would say that uh, mostly for me it's about a year it's about a year uh well the first language i learned uh, by myself was italian and it took me about 10 months then it was french the same 10 months then it was french uh spanish and it, it took me six months because it was easier um for me uh, because of the knowledge of uh, italian and French and Brazilian Portuguese four months so uh, yeah and what is fluency for me fluency um, fluency for me is when you can explain whatever you want even though with mistakes but yeah you you basically understand pretty much any content if it's not anything uh, like special technical but uh, also you are able to express yourself on uh, range of topics so this is fluency for me and with those languages with Roman languages it was uh, like 10 10 uh, 6 and 4 because uh, and it, it decreased uh, because of the uh, similar vocabulary similar structures etc uh, when it comes to German it's been two years and four months since I uh, started learning German and I cannot say that I'm fluent and the reason to that is that I haven't spoke a lot and I haven't uh, studied uh, the grammar uh, enough. 
so I'm not confident. But mostly it's because of the lack of speaking. Because I can understand German, but I cannot speak it very well because I um, didn't have enough practice. So, yeah, mostly it's a year. If you uh, do all the, uh, if you work, work on all of the skills, so it, it, it is uh, like listening, reading, uh, writing, and speaking. Writing is also important in order to uh, get through passive knowledge to active uh, less painfully. Because whenever you uh, have to speak, it, it requires your a lot of energy, and you ha you gotta be fast, you gotta be exact, etc. So yeah, it takes a year if you do it right. And I wasn't doing writing with German, but I'm I'm getting uh, better at my German now because I'm learning it uh, with a tutor. We talk uh, in in German entirely. So and I uh, yeah I I'm finding new I'm finding uh, some native speakers uh, to practice with so yeah this is my answer this is my answer with uh, with Thai um, I don't know I don't know because it's 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 completely another story uh, <laughs> Asian languages it's so uh, it's much more complicated than with uh, European ones so. Yeah, this is my answer. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for your questions. I am very happy answering them. The problem is that, well, it's not a problem, but I, uh, in order to give you the best answer possible, I record these videos over and over and over again. And it, it gives me like two hours or at least an hour of speaking practice. So I'm very uh, thankful, thankful uh, for that. Uh, and I hope uh, it is useful for you too. So, uh, yeah. So, any question, you can write it down below and I'm going to uh, make sure to answer it in the further episodes. Uh, have a great day and see you in the next time. Bye.